My name is Dr. s i w a n o n j i r a w a t n o t h a i I'm a faculty member at the Faculty of Medicine, s e l a t Hospital. My day start from let's say 8 to 8:30, depending on the time and the traffic. Uh, we uh, got into the office. This is SISP. Um, a researcher is working on one of the machines. This is the high content imager. Actually, this is the core technology that we have. Okay, here is my office. This is where I start my day every day. Today we have a teaching starting from nine. We have class for the graduate student. Most of the time, starting some conversation, very deep conversation about basic research for the student. Normal cell would look like this. This is the receptor we are talking about, right? I have a meeting, which is very important. It's going to be uh, some of the result that we hope to present in an international meeting in the U.S. very soon. Uh, my life would involve with a lot of talking. We discuss the lab results. We uh, check and uh, speak to the student to also understand what is their mental state would be. Are they having some failure from the lab work? Are they uh, still motivating? Uh, do they actually need some more training, for example? This we find out with some chit chat and uh, some uh, regular chatting with the student. So in this area, in fact, it belongs to equipment and the people belong to SSP. However, this is the share area; everyone can use it. I like to show this room to all of you. And then uh, when we do this, uh, we are going to be able to screen uh, a lot of cell life overnight and uh, actually do it fine. Oh, hey, um, I. Okay, okay. So uh, he's one of my intern students. Um, I'm really excited to talk to him today. Sometimes uh, we don't have a lot of time to catch up with our student. Um, having a lunch together may be really a rare opportunity or oh, not that cutting edge and thing, you know. I think today we have a very special meeting with one of our collaborator uh, from Denmark. It's because I, I, I'm not, I don't know specifically about uh, hidden I'm going to talk to her, uh, Dr. Marianne Hockland about uh, one of the progress in the project of one of my PhD students. The patient was diagnosed with advanced stage nasopharyngeal carcinoma mm -hmm. and previously treated with multiple lines of the treatment. Mm -hmm. So I learned out of the treatment options. Right, um, I remember that. Um, so, so one of the good things about working at the hospital is that we get the chance to uh, support the clinician with some of the clinical data, research data. That, um, a lot of cancer patients, as the, you probably know, um, they end up with having a uh, run right out of all the like, the treatment, especially, uh, for example, this case. So um, getting together with a clinician like Dr. Pitya can help us to understand the problem from the, from the clinic. And that, um, a lot of time, I generate a better idea of doing the research and we might be able to supply them with some uh, good information as well. I have to say that um, research or work of the scientists is not the uh, 9 to 5. We don't clock ourselves. Reason being that it's the creativity, it's the ideas, and you have to love it cannot get tired of it, otherwise you cannot do a research work. Uh, it is more of a lifestyle, not a job. That's why uh, we do it, we love it, and we do it all the time. I think one of the good things that we have a lab in the middle of the hospital, in fact, this is the uh, tertiary hospital, one of the biggest and largest uh, in the country, if not in Southeast Asia is that we are in the environment where we can see a lot of uh, patients who are suffering from whatever the problem that they have. It helps us to remind ourselves what's the goal of our research, the most uh, straightforward and um, the most uh, beneficial 
to these people. So I think this is one of the good things being in the hospital.